Let's talk. Let's talk about how people use religion and culture to pour down heavy abuse upon gay people. Let's talk about how homophobic people suddenly forget their homophobia when they're in their workplaces because they know they'll get fired. Let's talk about how white gays continuously discriminate against people of colour, continuously degrade them, especially in the dating world with no blacks, no East Asians, no fats and no femmes. Let's talk about how we are subconsciously conditioned to praise masculinity but degrade femininity. Let's talk about how homophobia is deeply rooted in colonialism, yet, however, we praise Western values. Let's talk about how high depression and suicide is amongst gay communities. Let's talk about heterosexual privilege. Let's talk about the degradation of drag queens. Let's talk about transphobia. Let's talk about racism that lies within the POC gay community as well. Speak up if you have a platform to do so. When I spoke about this on my YouTube channel, there was this particular individual who said, not all white gays, please. That's not how it is. You are part of the problem. And this is a particular situation that occurs where somebody wants you to adapt to their white fragility and adapt to their white subconscious superior complex. They're simply not well equipped to have um, constructive, cognitive conversations about these issues because they have subconsciously been taught since they were a young kid that white is right and that is the only way. Very, very subconscious and that is the key word here. And then send a reply in the DMs because he DM'd me and then he replied by saying, you put the hashtag hairy, you're desperate for likes. And I'm like, what does it have to do with anything to do with the situation? And what we have here is somebody who is deviating, somebody who does not know or understand or be able to apprehend the cognitive skills to have a constructive, constructive conversation because they don't have to deal with racial discomfort. When they do, at a certain point, it becomes intolerable for them and become very emotional. And this is what we call white fragility, which what they need to use to subconsciously reinstate white racial equilibrium which is the main go end goal here. And this is a very interesting issue here. And I thought I would just add this to the end of the video. I'm not gonna end up going exposing who the person was. He, was. he ended up commenting and he got a lot of backlash and he ended up removing his comment and then he ended up blocking me as we were acquaintances. And when I, sent him a wrong, when I sent him a long reply, he just refused to read it. They don't like to be accountable or understand or have any other healthy communication because they don't know how to, they've never learned to because they've never actually had to deal with racial discomfort. They are not well equipped from a cognitive, constructive, apprehensive manner to have a conversation. You've never been tokenized, you've never been fetishized, you've never had your skin colour been associated with certain types of behaviours or physical attributes such as black men all have big dicks or East Asian men are all submissive, that's never been attributed to you. So therefore, this all causes racial discomfort, you get very upset, then you deviate. And he was like to me, you hashtag hairy, you're, you're desperate for likes, this is what you're doing. I'm like, what does that have to do with anything in this situation? I.e., here I am raising awareness for important issues, and you're somehow turning around and putting it back on me, person of colour, which is obviously continuously occurs. And I just found it hilarious, whilst at the same time degrading. I've seen this behaviour before, it's not surprising. When somebody's well set in their ways, that only adds more to the reason to it. And it's actually really interesting, gives you a great insight to what really does a cure. The fact that people deviate and find stuff like that. And the word hairy would obviously bring in a wider range LGBT audience, number one. Number two, what does it have to do with the situation? Deviation does what? It causes an entire different, you're blaming an entire different situation because you don't want to take accountability for the fact that you were obviously wrong or the fact that you were obviously misunderstood or there's miscommunication or you know what, ch or checking yourself. That cannot cure because you don't like to feel racial discomfort because it dampens and attacks your white fragility. Therefore, you use your white privilege to reinstate white equilibrium because that is what you want to do. It is hilarious. But let me know what you guys think. I'm very interested. Just comment down below. I read all your comments so we can get this conversation started.